So hello there, welcome back to another episode of this uh, Turkish campaign and we're going to start by... well there's a lot of battles around that I'm gonna have to do but I'm going to spy... you should start... I should start getting my spies a little bit further so I can see what's coming. So yeah. As you can see I'm very active with my spies and so, so should you be. Like this spy is awesome. Okay, <laughs> Cairo, can it move? No. Yeah, let's start with the end turn as most of the times that's what I usually do. Let's zoom out a little bit. So I'm hoping that the Hungarians actually come in and try to attack me. And I'm building another army, just because I, w I need like two armies f against each faction, if I'm attacking. This is because if the, the enemy actually sends everything against one of my armies, it's, I, it can be tricky, I can defend it, but I don't want to have to build up another army and wait. This, this way I have momentum, this way I can actually fight. Um, all the time. You must have surely noticed that there's a lot of battles that I do. Okay, the Mongols are going... They're just walking around, watching the landscape. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks. That's, that's not a big deal. Okay, Max of War, very loyal, fair factor. Yeah, I don't mind having more guys. No, I don't need any more Russians. End of turn, I'm winning money, that's always good. Caesarea, an armorer. So I finished up one uh, set of buildings, the archery, and now I'm going after the other, probably the stables. Adessa, crop rotation. Let's finish up our farms, shall we? Damascus, Antioch, crop rotation. Yeah. Acre, irrigation. Sophia, irrigation. Just make them everywhere. Irrigation. Baghdad, irrigation. And I have no more money. That's it. Well, next turn I'll have. Iconian... Yeah, I think I can skip this, because I know where I built my units. Yeah, let's regroup everyone. Yeah, and I have this guy to lead them. I'm actually moving him so he can give the bonus of movement to them. I'm gonna stay with this guy. Build a watchtower there. Yeah. That's exactly my point. I don't want anything to escape me there. Okay, spy, sir. You're going to go here. Let's head down there. Yeah, I know. We shall take our rest here, Sultan. Retrain a few units. Probably this is just the armor, but not a big deal. Someone feels depreciated. I don't like that. Okay, the Egyptians are... ...are blocking this port, so I'm going to deal with them. And... Okay, nice. So I can see already that Iraklian roads are quite undefended. And that's what this army is going to siege. I'm going to take everyone from this place or these places to go over that town. Yep. Yeah, let's march everyone, let's just leave the smallest units here and some militia. 
One, two, three, four, five. I need one more militia out. Now I can join in. Good. And I'm gonna fight this rebel army because, well, I see that the Venetians are not going to do that. It's okay. Okay, the Siege of Bran. I'm gonna sell you out and take his faction here. And this army is actually gonna move in to Budapest so I can crush all the Hungarian forces for now. So yeah, let's do this. One, two, three catapults. One, two archer units. Yeah. He has no chance. He actually has no chance at all. They assembled from all sides, one after another, with arms and horses and all the panoply of war. Anacomenas, the Alexiad. So, getting out of the siege, you have some, you have some ways to do it. You can go uh, with an all. A f or in a complete frontal assault or you can send a few units from the the side but that depends on where the castle gate is in here it's actually not bad should I send it hmm because he has a lot of catapults and I w it would be nice to have some flanking force let's see if I can send my cavalry in that would be nice Okay, come on guys, get over here, you can't, maybe here, this happens because the computer has to place every single unit, not just two or three, you see, and it needs a place for everyone, oh come on, come on, That's it. Good. Good enough. I have so many archers. Okay, single line. Do they manage to be all in here? Not exactly. Some of them are here. That's not something that I want. Can I deploy? Nice. Okay, so I have one unit of four men. It's going to be of a huge advantage to me because it's going to hold the middle. Great! <laughs> At least if everything goes badly, I won't lose the castle. Not immediately. So, start the battle and send my horse archers to this flank. Shift one and send them here. Now, I have to take advantage that he's actually moving his forces so I can move my army out of my castle. Run, run. I don't mind them being tired since I'm actually rushing. If you're rushing, run. Where are his catapults? I think they are still moving and you can see there that my cavalry is actually reaching his point. So, can I have a free access to his catapults? No, I have to go completely on the back. That's what I'm gonna do. My archers, can they hit? They cannot. So, immediately run into the best places. So, will you? Hopefully he'll try to concentrate on my uh, horse archers. Let's put skirmish on. This way, I, I always use horse archers as a diversion, as you can see, because his missile troops will have to usually adjust, you know, turn around, his catapults will have to turn around if they, he wants to fire with them, and that gives me a lot of time to move into position. Position is everything on Medieval 2. You can lose units just so you can position troops better. They aren't skirmish, so they should be fine. 
Yeah, he's moving in with his Hungarian nobles, but my archers are in place. And my cavalry is hitting his catapult. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind some of his light infantry hitting me. This just makes sure that his cavalry, you see his catapults, are not going to hit as well. And in here, everything is fine. He's having some troubles. Let's move in again with my archer units and my infantry. Run. Where are my horse archers? You can leave now. You can go here. Run. Take the skirmish option out. Run. You see, they are only warmed up. So no reason whatsoever not to run. Especially when the battle is just a small one with no reinforcements. Reinforcements are actually what what makes the running or the um, uh, the tiredness of the troops mo uh, most important. Okay, how's the catapults? They are not there anymore. You see, he just uses them as infantry now. That's all due to that issue that I show you. Because I charge them, he just gets completely uh, annoyed by it. Hey, my archers are doing pretty good work with them. And this guy is gonna fall now. I'm actually gonna hit him. Take the skirmish option off and just hit him. Just mess with the with my cavalry archers. And even cavalry archers, because you notice, these are not bad cavalry archers now. Like my uh, my sepais are 12, 18. This is a lot of experience. So these guys can handle the general's bodyguard really well. Yeah, 25, he's shaken. You are going to have some casualties. But this way, at least you get rid of that general and you don't need to micro anymore. That's the big thing. I actually can pay attention to this area here and see if I need to do anything. These guys are being shot at. There's an attempt charge here. Attempted. Come on, kill the general. What is he bringing? Catapults. Nice. <laughs> you see, that's why you make that charge. He was completely disrupted by that attack on the back. Channel's bodyguard. There he is. Just shoot him. Kill him. From the back. I don't care. No. Yeah, heavy infantry against... My generous heavy infantry against his dismounted feudal knights. Who wins? Yeah, no chance. I just have to wait. Come on, kill him. I was expecting him to fall much faster, actually. So I'm just gonna back off. I lost quite a lot of men because I was expecting him to fall and then the unit to rout. But, well, sometimes it doesn't happen. Usually it does. Usually it does. And you've seen me do that quite sometimes. Okay, 54 against 47 who are routing now. Okay, let's just attack, shall we? Run with my troops. You will plan a flank. You gentlemen shall move forward. Mass charge and mass route, probably. Yeah. He's surrounded, there's no way. He's even going to think on attacking. I need to take his general bodyguard away, because that's the only unit that's capable of, of even surviving this battle. Yep. Come on, just kill the general! Good. 
And now it's a continue battle stuff. Yep. Continue battle. Let's take the auto fire away. And done. Quite an easy battle, huh? Come on. Issue the pursuit order. I don't want anyone escaping. Kill the Slav levies. Good. Now I can exit the battle. Okay. So it was a nice battle. It was a good example of me being a little bit reckless because my horse archers are uh, are good, but they're not that good. Like I charged General Bodyguard. Probably he had a lot of hit points. Um, still, it was a nice. This is no big deal. I don't actually need to worry about them. This army is going to conquer there. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. Um, I have read a few comments about gunpowder. Gunpowder hasn't come yet. So, I'm actually hoping that that it comes because I want to show Janissary, uh, uh, Janissary Musketeers, I believe. I believe that's the name. And my awesome guns. I have a lot of cannons and very good cannon, inf again, cannon units. So, yeah. Horse Breeders Guild in Nicosia. That's good. Where's Nicosia? Is this. Where was Nicosia? Here! Wow. Well, I guess I'll have to build racing tracks here. And turn construction report. Nicaeum Warehouse. Bucharest. Uh, in irrigation. Nicosia. Yeah, it's building. And Jeddah. It's going to build shipwright. Where else can I build that it's not building? Jerusalem. Yeah, Jerusalem needs to build. Docklands. Gaza cannot build anything. Durazzo can build paved roads. Yazi can build a machine. Brand can build anything. Not important. Okay, the Mongols are at war with Russia. Let me see what's going to happen. He's sieging. Okay, let's see how the Russians manage. <laughs> I'll probably be able to ally with the Mongols. But I should crush them. But maybe first I should ally with them. What do you think? <laughs> okay, build a watchtower here. Uh, Mamluk arches and stuff. He hasn't got anything. He's gonna die in the next turn. Okay, the Sicilian Navy that's going to die. An Egyptian Navy that I'm going to chase away. Come on. What's this? Yeah, I'm gonna attack them with them. You sir, gonna go here, join in. One, two, three, four, five archers. One, two, three, four, five, six infantry. Some horse archers. Good. It's actually a nice unit. And these guys, plus these ones, will make it even better. Yeah, I have another army. Yay! <laughs> so, this rebel fight, or should I just siege Budapest? I'm gonna begin the siege of Budapest. Has quite a lot of troops. Let's station a spy there. I'm gonna wait for him to come at me. Yeah. And. Yeah. And I have this major rebel army fight, and then I'll end the, the video. Okay. I gotta fight it on the battle map. This is way too much. 
way too much, too many rebels. I'm glad that it, this is actually here because it stopped the Venetians for for some time. He didn't want to mess with them. Okay, it appears some bad terrain is in order. He has good terrain for use or to use his good troops. He has a lot of peasants, but he has a lot of archers. So where should I move in? I should move in from this angle. Why? Because because I will have the cover up of the trees. That's the main idea. Group up. Yeah. Same story as before, just go with the units on the back, or the archers on the back of this uh, infantry, and it should be fine. I only have two units of sipais, of horse archers here. I need a little bit more. I have too many archers and smaller infantry units. Oh, he didn't actually took the best spot. So I can move this way into a much better position than he has. Okay, let's get my horse archers into a favorable position. Don't worry about zooming in too close. He doesn't have a chance anyway. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. A lot of peasant crosswomen and a lot of peasants. But this way, as I'm, as I'm going closer, he's going to start running away. Yep. As you can see, it's not going to work. This is a good example. It's not going to work as it uh, should against such a large uh, archer force. Okay. He's moving in, so I have to stop and put myself in a different position. Let's see if I can put my archers just a little bit on the left flank. My archers are managing to kill those guys, and these guys are in movement. Or moving, so if they're moving, they're not shooting. Unlike horse archers, which I love to do. Okay. Some of my archers are in place, they're starting to shoot at him. As you can see, he's trying to rush in, because it's it's quite an aesthetic, actually. But it's not going to work as well. Okay. Actually, let's attack the Italian spear militia, because I know the archers are going to flee. Come on, move everyone, move my archers on the back, move my bodyguard here, let's attack this unit of peasant crossbowmen, I don't want them to fight, getting away, I'm actually gonna stop my ballista fire, Yeah, that's it. They can handle it. The presence, since these are peasant units, just the presence of a whole such a unit on their backs, it's, it's making them waver. Yeah. Let me just send these guys over here. Let's just put my units closer. That will make a huge difference. Almost done here. Yeah, I can pretty much just charge in even with my archers and provoke a mass rout with them. Where are my horse archers? Phew. 
Here they are. Nice. That was a nice charge, actually. You see, you, you shouldn't worry too much about sending our general in. Even against... You, you've seen that I, I charged Spearman, but... Spearmen, even on very hard, are still vulnerable units. They, they will still take quite a lot of casualties. And you can notice by, by a, a small charge. You should notice that when the AI actually does, does a charge against me, he takes quite a lot of troops. So, I'm just gonna put these guys on pursuit. It's not that he's going to stay with that army on the field, but still, I would like to lessen their troops and get some kills, some extra experience on my troops. Okay. I can exit now. <laughs> so many men. And a lot of experience gained, as you can see. Two experience for my bodyguard and two for my Turkomans. That's good. So... I really wanted to end the Egyptians on these... on this week. But there's a lot of things to do. Let me just... Can I move? No. Let me just enter and at least siege the city. At least start, start sieging the city down there. I'll probably end both the Hungarians and the Egyptians at the same time. That will be nice. Yep, yeah, there he goes. Oh, great. Denmark, what do you want? Nothing. He wants to bribe my units. Okay, that's a nice setback for the Mongols. It's going to take him a few more uh, turns to take Ryazan. I hope the Russians can hang on. At least they can take a few guys off him. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah. What happened? Milan is at war with me. Well, it's not like I, I, it matters actually. Oh, it makes, makes a nice square. That's good. <laughs> oh, I lost the guy. That's fine. I actually had two. Caesarea build the chic stables. Yerevan. Build nothing. You don't need anything. Okay. You're fine like you are. Mosul. No trade stuff. Yeah, he has large bazaar. Adana. Irrigation. Trevisond. Bazaar. Actually, irrigation. Smyrna. Has nothing to build. And Thessalonica. You have a warehouse to build. Anyone else? Yerevan. Smyrna, which I already saw, they have nothing. Let's see, the Bran has nothing to build. Gaza. Yeah, no worries. Next turn I'll see that. I'll see to it in the next. Okay, let's siege the enemy capital. Oh, I should actually auto-resolve it. <laughs> nice. I can even recruit some of his guys. Yeah. I want to see at least here. So that's where I'm going to move. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I won. Good. <laughs> Let's blockade all of Venice here. Oh, actually, actually, actually. Actually, should be moving these troops 
towards one of these fleets. Probably this one. Yep. Okay, so... These guys are close to their end. I'm gonna wait on that siege, actually. So is Bren... Egyptian capital, yep, well, you know, it's going to have to be on the next video, but as you can see, I have pretty much all of Middle East, plus the Balkans, and then I'm going to start my war on the Venetians, which will, I will use this army to go to Heraklion and Rhodes, and I need another one, another fleet, to take my army off Cairo. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, actually. So, let's see how many troops do you need here. Oh, you only need that? Awesome. Okay, so this fleet is actually stopping the blockade and it's going to come for this army. And it's great. Awesome. Everything is fine and dandy. That's how I like it. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.